I never made a, the distinction between street artists and artists because <clears throat> it's like if you call artists that work in gallery just indoor artists. So my work since the beginning have always been a combination of work outside, which is truly the majority of what I do, but a documentation or a process that can only be shown indoor. And that's why there's always a lot of video installations. There's always a lot of pieces that could not be done in the outside. So it's never a representation of what's in there and you know, that I try to make in the gallery. And sometimes just a photo represents what had happened at that moment. And I love that the people who would get them would become the gatekeeper of those artworks that were just ephemeral, were just moments. I never seen a ballet myself before uh, I started you know, doing one at New York City Ballet and uh, I was really curious to see what it would look like to see hundreds of dancers in the streets there, ballerinas from the opera, Paris, and, uh, and actually people were also really curious out there. I remember when we built a stage at the size of the opera in between the project, people thought there would be a rap concert in the evening and then they see those ballerines coming and so they were really confused and kind of, you know, wonder, well, okay, what are they about to do? So it got the full attention of everybody from every window. And, uh, and you know, now when I ask them what they think about that and, uh, and, and they, you know, they, you know, as, as fun as it sounds, is that they say well, they, they're inspired by ballet and where they never even went to a, a ballet before. To the question, can I change the world? I would say that it actually can change the vision we have about the world. And that's already a big thing. So I always say changing the world one photo at the time because uh, each time it changes the perception that people have about a place. And, uh, and just switching that or giving doubts into people's head about something that I thought was like engraved in stone helps changing the prejugé and the preconception we have about others. So in a piece like this, that was a photo I've done at New York City Ballet when I asked all the dancers to sculpt an eye inside paper uh, with their body and uh, I've transferred it on wood in a way. So it's, it's, it's a complete opposite of, 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 of pasting because I paste with the image facing the wood and then I take off the hundreds of layers of paper with a team. We work on that for months and months. So I, I can only produce a few of those and that's why it looks like the ink is coming from the wood. And, uh, so I like it's a process that you know uh, we we all work on at the studio, but at the same time, you never know when it's going to function or not, and there's already a surprise of the piece appearing. The idea is easy, uh, but uh, the process to get there—that's the adventure. And then when that's done, then you have to jump on the new idea, and that's the way we all live our life. No matter what, we have a project, we finish it, we need another one.